Oh, that is so good. Thank you, guys. Thank you so freaking much for telling me about that. That is just ridiculous. What's up, Plane Crash Survivors? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for the Forest. Man, we are back in the forest. I'm I'm really happy to be here. Um, Alpha 17 came out with seven days to die, but I, I gotta tell you something. The forest is going nowhere, and I am really, really thrilled to be back in it. And I'm really thrilled to read the comments. You guys gave me some really, really good and nice comments. Some, some very helpful ones and some very nice comments from you guys. The one that... I uh, just kind of blows my mind. I'm just going to go right off the bat, man. Uh, first of all, today we're going to be working on the bone zone. Now, now that we've covered that, let me go over this, um, this tip you guys gave me. And I did not know about this. Apparently, something that a lot of people do not know is you can press R on the treehouse blueprint. Remove the rope and add a bridge connection. Holy freaking crap. I can't believe that. Um, so in other words, remember how I was like kind of working here with this and I had to put a platform there to kind of make this work? Um, apparently, you don't need to do that. Freaking nuts. Freaking nuts. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this down and we're going to put a we're going to put a, a, a freaking treehouse uh, tree here and we're going to test this because I can't freaking believe it. I, I can't believe it. I haven't tested it. So I don't know. Maybe maybe I was lied to. I don't think I was, though, because a lot of you guys said it. So let's just uh, let's test this out right now. I, I'm just so hyped about it like i can't even talk straight and maybe i'm talking a little bit fast for people but i'm gonna do it right now so you guys know exactly what i'm talking about why this is so awesome all right so we're gonna use a regular one so um you said press you know okay so we're gonna rotate this i want it to go you know what i kind of want it to be facing this way and what you guys are telling me is if i press r it gets rid of the rope and puts a connection there right is that the case holy freaking crap Holy freaking crap. Oh, man. All right, well, we got to test that. Uh, we got to finish the bone zone first, though. So I'm sorry about that, but, I, you know, <laughs> we got to finish the bone zone, guys. It's just the way it's got to go. I will get back to this hopefully today. I would. It depends on how like how much of an annoyance the, um, the cannibals are going to be. Um, if they're not too much trouble today, then we could probably get back to that today and maybe finish that treehouse. Um, where am I going? I'm so freaking excited. I can't believe that. So... That alpine treehouse I made, I didn't have to, you know, go through a lot of that stuff. And, you know, look, moving forward, it's going to make uh, treehouses a viable option for my tree platform setup. Okay? So that is just freaking... God, thank you guys so much. I, I don't even know. Like, I can't thank you enough on how awesome of a tip that was. All right. So, we do want to leave one of these open. Um, although, eh, maybe not. Maybe we'll just finish this up completely. One of you guys keeps telling me to uh, put these, like, lan these, um, what are they called? These skull lantern thingies in here. I put a skull lamp in every single one of these. So, that's already done. So, you don't have to, you know, let me know about that. Um, I appreciate it, but uh, that's already been done. So, not really a problem. I did off camera go ahead and grab a bunch of rope. Um, for these things, because, you know, you need two rope for each uh, happy birthday trap. And um, I'll be honest with you, the rope was the real problem. It really was. I mean, we got plenty of logs in the area. We've got plenty of sticks. But the ropes, the ropes, oh my goodness. Um, took me a while to get those ropes, but I did get them done. And I really want to do that off camera because it, it's not, there's nothing there to, you know, <laughs> make an interesting video of me going to get ropes. Like, I mean, that's just not a thing that people need to, or care about seeing. So let's go ahead and dump all the sticks in here. We are gonna, we're finishing the bone zone today. That's just all there is to say. Um, and then what are we going to do? What are we going to looking forward? Uh, I want to do a lot of building. Um, I do want to go down and check on... Uh, not check on stuff, but I want to get the rebreather. And then I want to get the chainsaw. And I think there's some other things down there I might want to get. There's a lot of stuff I want to get. Okay. Um, but the fact of the matter is, I, I'm going to do a pretty good amount of building for the next few videos because I really like building. And um, yeah, so we're going to be doing a lot of building for the next few videos. And then uh, and then we'll go back and then we'll go down. We'll get the rebreather. We'll get the chainsaw. We'll do some more exploring underneath. I've got some other tips that you guys gave me that I will read right now. Some The next person said, army destroy my base. And I wrote, nope, lol. Okay, so here's the thing. Um, a lot of people are telling me that what I built was pointless because um, arms is going to come in and knock down the trees and basically knock down my entire treehouse base. Um, yeah, this isn't my first rodeo. Um, I know how to handle Armsy. Uh, basically, if Armsy comes in, and I'll tell you guys this, for those of you who don't know how you want to handle Armsy, Armsy is one of the mutants. Uh, Virginia is the same way. Um, there's, like I think, three mutants that will come out um, there's Armsy, Virginia, 
and um, Cowman, okay? And basically, if they come out, there's no base that I'm aware of that is invincible, although I think someone said there's some, there is some bases you could build that are kind of invincible. I don't really want an invincible base, though, because if the, if the cannibals can't destroy the base, then it gets, too e it gets to be too easy, right? Um, so I do want that threat there. So I don't want an invincible base. Oh, here we go. Hold on. Oh, wow, there's a lot of them. Alright, well, let's uh, let's come on in here. We used all the sticks, damn it. So I don't have any sticks to reset these up. Uh, I do have a stick thing over here, but it's going to set off traps if I go that way. I can come through here. And we'll grab some sticks from here, and we will set up the happy birthday traps. Um, because, you know, I could go out there with my katana and just, you know, wreak havoc. Um, but the point of the happy birthday trap setup is I don't have to go out there and wreak havoc. I could let the happy birthday traps do a lot of the, the heavy lifting for me. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set some of these up now. And they don't seem to be coming in and messing with me, so that's good. There we go. That one's done. That one's... Oh, I think they saw me. Yep, they spotted me. All right, we're going to get as many of these done as possible. Uh, there we go. How many sticks do we have on us? Oh, we got, still got a good amount of sticks. So, let's see if these... Oh, yep. Okay. Here we go. And you're dead. Nice job, numbnuts. Alright, so let's go ahead and... Uh, set up. And he got through. They can jump through, like I said. But, like, r very rarely will it be more than one. And if it's just one, they don't, have, they don't stand a chance. So that's the idea. If one jumps through, you know, it sucks. It's not perfect, but that's okay. Um, you can take care of them. Oh, wow. She just really, literally jumped over it. Man, put up, put some clothes on, lady. Damn. What's your problem? Do you have no shame? Eh, you know, who am I to judge? Who am I to judge? Hey, you want to run around naked? You, you, you do you, boo. Alright? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna judge. There will be no judgment here. If I'm gonna judge you for anything, it's gonna be for eating human meat and taking my son. Eh, who's kidding? I don't really give a crap about Timmy. Um, <laughs> Alright, so this is going to be nice for bones. That's why this is called the bone zone. So, okay, so back to what I was saying about the mutants. So, if the mutants come in, you don't stay in your treehouse. Just so you guys know that. Um, I think people think I'm going to stay in the treehouse. I'm not going to stay in the treehouse. Um, the treehouse is ma mainly uh, just a way to get off the ground and kind of get away from the cannibals. The mutants are a different thing because the mutants will destroy your treehouse. I'm fully aware. Great tip. And um, you know what? It's good for me to let people know that so they don't do the same thing and maybe lose their base. Um, so I'm not going to lose my base. Armsy comes in, I'm going to bail. So I'm, I'll fight him out in the open. I can kill Armsy. I believe me. I've done it plenty. Um, so, that, you know, I'm going to seal this up completely today. I wasn't going to because um, it's going to make it hard to get logs inside if I seal it up. But I'm okay with that. I want this thing operational. I want this to be a fully operational... Uh, what, what, did the, what did the Emperor call it? Battle station? The, um, the cannibals will be facing a fully operational battle system. You know, whatever. I haven't seen... I haven't seen... Uh, uh, I, wanna, I almost call it The Last Jedi. No, I haven't seen uh, Revenge of the Sith. A Revenge of the Jedi. That was the original name for Return of the Jedi. No, I haven't seen Return of the Jedi in a while, so I don't remember exactly what he says. I just know he's taunting. He was taunting poor Luke like a jerk. And um, I didn't like him for that. Alright, so we're going to need some stones as well. I do have some stones. We could pick up stones as we go along. And there we go. Got to get this thing, uh, got to get this thing situated. Alright, we need some more stones. There should be stones all over the ground. There we go. We need some more logs. Oh boy. This thing is uh, no small feat building this. I'll tell you that. But that's that's what I do, man. I go big or I go home, you know? Um, I like building big stuff. Especially in this game. Like, uh, There's an update coming out in December, but I'm not anticipating a restart. Usually this game doesn't force you to restart. I hope it doesn't, honestly. Um, I might not restart even if it does ask me to restart because, you know. Um, so I do like to build big bases in games where you don't have to restart a lot. And um, in this game, so far, I have not had to restart a lot. So that has been wonderful. All right, people, we're getting there. We are getting there. By the way, I just tried to right-click to chop down this tree with the axe. Can anybody in the comment section tell me why I just tried to right-click to chop down that tree with the axe? I'm, I'm just curious. I'm just curious if anyone knows. <laughs> I'm not even going to mention it in the video. You guys just let me know in the comments. Yeah. Uh, so that was a thing. All right. So we're just about done here. I think all we need is the logs. And then I'm going to burn the bodies um, during the night. If it, if it takes too long to get these logs set up, though, I will burn the bodies during the day. We, don't, we can't mess up the sleeping schedule. You got to go to bed at... 
Hold on. Hold on. I thought I heard something. You gotta go to bed at a certain time. If you go to bed at the wrong time, it uh, it's, it screws up your sleeping schedule. And then you're gonna have a hard time getting back on schedule. You might have to stay up an entire night. Man, I keep thinking I'm hearing something, but... I don't know. I'm not seeing anything. Usually when you hear something, it's, it comes, it's, you know, in your face. So, probably just my um, crazy imagination. Just saw some punk-ass cannibals running off in the distance. Oh, another thing, guys. If you get mutants on you, um, I don't think these happy birthday traps will be enough to combat them. Um, like I said, guys, I don't know of anything in this game that can stand up to mutants. Uh, I think they can break anything. Uh, maybe walls, you know. But honestly, like, I've fought mutants quite... I keep drinking stuff, damn it. I keep hitting four to bring out the axe for some reason. Um, yeah, I, I keep... Um, what I do is I, I fight the mutants out in the open. It's just so much easier to kite them around um, with the bow. Uh, you can you could kite them with the bow, flame arrows, regular arrows. You can um, you can shoot them with the uh, with the flare gun. Uh, there's absolutely no reason to hide behind your walls with a mutant. And um, I've never had a mutant d destroy anything on me, but I'm pretty sure they can. I mean, some of you guys probably let me know in the comments about that. Um, I don't know if they can destroy stone walls or not, but. Um, I'm pretty sure they could destroy wooden walls. Like I said, I, I don't usually, like, wait to find out <laughs> if they could destroy my walls or not. I just go out and kite them out in the open. It's really the best way to fight them. Alright, so, I think we're gonna have to cut down one more tree, possibly. Yep, because that one gave me five logs. I think I'm gonna need, uh, yeah, one more tree. I think one more tree will be good. That's awesome. And, uh, just so you guys can see... We'll go to graphics and we'll put it on color grade, color grading M131. And uh, I want to finish this today. Today! Today! Anyone know what that's from? Ugh, that's, a, that's a deep cut. I want to finish it today. Today! Yeah, that, nobody's going to get that. <laughs> but, you know, yeah, you never know. Maybe someone will get it. All right, so let's go ahead and finish the bone zone. This is just wonderful. That one's done. This one probably needs two. And this one over here only needs one. So what we'll do is we'll throw the other one in here for use, you know, for later usage. And I think the bone zone is complete, people. That is just freaking awesome. Oh, what a beautiful morning. What a beautiful morning. All right, guys, let's get over here. Let's get some Let's get some drink. Um, I do have food in my inventory. We're kind of low on food. Um, I was looking for turtles during the night, but did I just eat something that was bad for me, or is that the thirst? I'm not really sure. Um, oh, there's some turtles. Okay, I was waiting for the turtles during the night, but I didn't see any. Uh, I think they're coming up now. Um, but we're going to need to slaughter some turtles. I don't really want to do that right now, though. I want to show you guys the bone zone. So let's get on over there. Let's pick this up because there's no reason to leave a log on the ground. Um, this we could just put it right in here. How many does that take? 35 logs. Alright, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Let's go check out the bone zone, man. I I kind of want some uh, cannibals to come around now. By the way, what does cone flower look like? I I see chicory, I see marigold, I see ever, I see all of it. I just don't know what cone flower looks like. Um and and it, where is it? Uh you know, if you guys let me know, that'd be awesome. Um yeah, the bone zone's looking legit. Did I uh went back to regular color grading? And, um, yeah. Yeah, this is great. This is great. Oh, yeah, we gotta burn these bodies, aren't, don't we? Alright, let's do that now. There's no time like the present, folks. Ugh, what are you doing, man? You gotta light it on fire first, bro. Let's get some bones. Bone Zone's living up to its name. Welcome to the Bone Zone! Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set these traps. Make sure this place is ready to rock. There's a few things we're gonna want in here. We're gonna want a we're gonna want a campfire. We're gonna want uh, stick holders for arrows. Uh, we're gonna want stick holders for arrows. Yeah, Cage, that's what you want. Stick holders for arrows. We're gonna want holders for arrows and bones and sticks. That's what we're gonna want. So um, probably not gonna mess with that today. Uh, so we're just gonna let those cook on up. That is looking just fantastic. That is just looking fantastic. And then I think what we're going to do is we're going to go over there. We're going to finish up that treehouse and uh, check out that anchor point. It's, it's, you guys said it would give it an anchor point. Um, also, uh, oh my god, look at this. Look at this. You know what? We're going to need it. We're going to need a, a bone holder right now. A bone basket? What's it called? I forget. I'm just going to make one that... I'm just going to make a temporary 
way to store the bones, a bone basket. Very temporary. This is going to be moved. That's not permanent. Um, I just need something right now um, to hold the bones because those bones are... I don't have room for them. I'm not going to be able to hold in my inventory. I don't have enough cloth to make... The, well, I actually have a decent amount of cloth. But I don't think I'm going to be able to get all the... I don't think I'm going to be able to use all those bones. And I really don't want to waste them. Oh, another thing you want to make in your bone zone is a... Um, uh, 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 what is it called? A catapult, okay? Now I've used the catapult, uh, but I haven't used it in a while. So the catapult might be good now, but when I used the catapult, it was a big steaming pile. It, it's basically useless. I, I don't know if it's better now. Uh, maybe you guys can let me know if they've made it better. I don't know. Um, but the one thing the catapult is good for, it's the only way, it's, it's the best way um, to store skulls. All right, you can only hold four skulls at a time, and you want to start collecting skulls because you can make some really cool things with skulls later on. Um, so I do want to make a... Um, I do want to make a catapult for skull storage. How many do I have? 12, 20. We want to get full sticks before we go back in there. And nope. I don't have any uh Yeah, I don't have any more cone flour. I don't know. I don't know what the cone flour looks like. I've got marigold, I've got chicory, and I've Oh, I do have cone flour. So it's these two? No. That's health mix plus. What am I missing? Chicory, cone flour. Yeah, whatever. I'm not gonna mess with this right now. Um, basically what I was trying to make is I was trying to make, uh, stamina regeneration, you know, plants. Um, but I, I don't quite remember how to do them. And to be perfectly honest, I don't really want to mess with it right now. We'll get, we'll get into that later. You guys will let me know in the comments too, I'm sure. All right. So let's get on up here. All right. I'm sorry. It's going to bother me. Cone flour and chicory. Cone flour and chicory. Okay. That would have bothered me. Again, I just don't know where to get the cone flour from. I could plant some cone flour. I do have some cone flour seeds. I must have been picking cone flour at some point. I just don't know when or where. All right, so let's finish up this bone basket. Let's get the bones in there. And there we go. And put the bones in there. And um, the skulls, unfortunately, are going to be lost. Oh, oh, whoa. Oh, we lost them. Crap. All right, well, see, that's what happens when you're not prepared, guys. That's what happens when you're not prepared. I guess the bones don't stay on, on the ground as long as I thought. Oh, that, is, that was really quick. They disappeared very quickly. Okay, guys. Um, I think we're going to be playing with some dynamite at this point. Uh, I definitely want to save. Did I I made a, a temporary shelter down here to save in, didn't I? I thought I did, but I'm not seeing it. Oh, there it is. All right, beautiful. So let's go ahead and save because we're going to be playing with dynamite and there's a very good possibility that we could lose a lot of stuff on this. Um, but I'm, I'm going to try it because I think it would be fun. All right, let's grab all that stuff. There we go. And do we want to not dynamite any of this? Well, we don't want that tree to come down. So why don't we just save? So whatever. Let's see where, we, let's see where this takes us. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, see, it was too close. Well, that's okay. What you do is you come over here and you go to the main menu. And then once you're in the main menu, you go to single player, continue, bada bing, bada boom. We just er we just erased our bad decision making. All right. We just erased our bad decision making. Now, if I couldn't back the game up, I wouldn't have done it. So <laughs> I would have been a lot more careful. But it's nice to be able to back stuff up because then you could, you could play a little bit more. You know, free flowing. I think it makes the video better too. Than not having to like worry about everything all the time. So, all right. So we're gonna try that again because we didn't learn our lesson the first time. But we're just gonna kind of throw out more back here. Yeah, that should be okay. Right, right. Very good. Very good. All right. So let's go ahead and throw these up here. And we're going to complete this, guys. I want to I want to see this. I want to see this anchor point for myself. Because, my God, I can't believe... I, I, I didn't know. I didn't know. We didn't listen. You know? So, we got to see what's up here. All right. So, let's come on over here. And let's pick these suckers up. Here we go. And um, well, the, the cannibals have been quite uh, understanding with us. Today, I mean, we had a couple attack us in the bone zone, but they've been, you know, they've been for the most part, you know, relatively, uh, they've been good neighbors. They've been good neighbors, you know, except for the fact they kidnapped my son. But to be perfectly honest, I haven't really thought about him in a while, so whatever. Whatevs. You can keep him, just don't stop attacking me. 
Um, so yeah, they've been uh, quite uh, amiable. Amiable, is that, the, is that the saying? Probably. Alright, so let's go ahead and take this down as well, because it's in the way and we could use the sticks. And let's go ahead and finish this bad boy up. Come on. There we go. Let's go get some more logs. Plenty more logs on the ground over there. I can't believe this is going to give us a, a, an anchor point. I can't believe it. Like, I could, like, say, like, oh, okay. Um, if you press the R key, it takes away the rope so the rope's not in the way. And I could say that, and I could be like, okay, that's really cool, and um, that's going to be very helpful, and it makes me very happy. But the fact that it not only takes away the rope and gives you an anchor point, that's just that's just ridiculous. That's awesome. That's freaking awesome. I wouldn't have, I would not have even thought to ask for that. Like, if you're like, oh, Cage, you know, like, uh, what would you want in the game? I wouldn't even have thought to uh, to ask for anchor points on the, the treehouses. I just thought it wasn't a thing. I didn't, you know, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I just didn't think it wasn't a thing. Maybe I thought it couldn't be done. I don't know. But um, these guys did it. So kudos, man. Kudos. I love these devs. Really do. They're good devs. They, always, they, oh, they have not always done things the way I would have liked. But I can't, I can't you know, deny that this is probably my second favorite survival game ever. And they have been incredibly hardworking. And, uh, man, and, and the port on the console I hear is really good. Now, I haven't played the port on the console, guys. This is all secondhand information. So if you're thinking about getting it for the console, just keep that in mind. I have not played it. But everything I've heard from people that I trust says the console port was mwah, awesome. Just awesome. So, you know, I've already told some of my friends that I think they should, I think they should probably get it, so... Uh, looks like we're gonna have to knock down some more trees. I thought that would have been enough, um, enough logs, but yeah, I'm thinking not so much. Not so much. All right, well, fair enough. Hey, man, I'm not opposed to chopping down a tree. I could, I'd get my hands dirty. As long as these freaking cannibals leave me the heck alone. Uh, I don't know how, I don't know how much longer that's gonna last. Um, the area I'm building in is quite a... A heavily traveled area you know the fact that they've been as uh, absent I guess is the word I'm looking at. they haven't really been absent they've been here they just haven't been attacking me I've seen them run by they just I don't know maybe maybe they see the katana and they're like yeah I don't think that's um I don't think this is a fight I want to get into I don't know but I got the bone zone up now so they're screwed unless they bring armsy Virginia or a cowman uh, you know they just really don't have much of a chance. If you let me get the bone zone up, you're really not doing yourself any favors. But don't tell them that because, you know, I don't want them, like, in my next world to, <laughs> to come out and mess me up while I'm trying to make the bone zone. I thought I just heard one behind me, but... Huh, I guess not. Okay. All right, so there we go, and uh, let's see if we get that anchor point. I mean, you'd have to get an anchor point, right? Because there's be no other way to get up there. They'd have to give you an anchor point. So I guess that makes sense now that I'm thinking about it. If you're going to take away the rope, you have to give an anchor point because without the rope, you can't get up there. So that is just, oh, that is so good. Thank you, guys. Thank you so freaking much for telling me about that. That is just ridiculous. Now, if I put one there, can I put a second one? there as well i want i gotta know that let's say i build this bridge can i put another anchor point there um on the you know the same anchor point that i built the bridge on am i asking for a lot eh, you know um, yeah but hey man these guys are spoiling me so it's uh it's pretty much their fault you know don't spoil me don't spoil me bro no i'm just kidding spoil me please spoil me spoil me some more with your awesome game decisions. I mean, this is just really, really great decision here. I'm a builder. And when the developers uh, make decisions with builders in mind, well, they're just getting loyalty from me for life. I mean, really. It's kind of the way the Thumb Pimps have been with uh, with Seven Days. And there's been other developers who uh, don't give any rat's ass about building. And I don't play those games as much. Because building is where it's at for me. All right, so let's see if we could put another one up here. No, okay, so that that's a bit of a shame. So that's a dead end at this point. That's a dead end. But we could go over here and go up to an. I'm gonna I'm gonna go crazy with this Ewok Village stuff, guys. I'm just letting you know. Um, be prepared. 
be prepared for the Ewok village crazy craziness that is going to ensue. Um, <laughs> I just love that. I love that fact that you can put anchor points to tree houses. I can't believe I didn't know about it before. All right, so let's go on over here. And yeah, that is just that is just phenomenal. Phenomenal. I could put drying racks in here. Oh, God. Oh, this is just wonderful. All right, guys. Well, this has been a great time. Okay, I hope you guys had a good time too. And if you did, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Also, subscriptions just doesn't mean what, what it used to on YouTube. Uh, YouTube is not sending your subscriber feed. It's not sending videos from the people you subscribe to in your subscriber feed. So uh, go ahead and you know hit the notification bell, or just you know um, go to my YouTube page and just favorite it. Just put it on your you know your uh, internet. Um, favorites list or something uh, if you want to make sure you get every video but anyway guys uh thank you very much for watching i'll see you next time and until then take it easy